this is the machine have a pulser that is connected with the bottom of the, the beam former that produce the steering and change the focal areas and the other part is exactly like computer it's a receiver, a memory and a display this is exactly a computer Pulser and beam former is one part that is when the electric voltage was produced and the beam former uh, make the shape of the beam. One function is switching and when the echo coming back is not sent to the pulser go directly to the computer where it's digitalized digitalized is change the information in binary numbers that are the numbers that use the computers and that produce B mode that is when the machine change the amplitude for bright bright mode when I echo return the dot light always a brightness that is proportional to the amplitude of the returning echo more amplitude have the echo more white is the dot of the contrary no echo was produced in anechoic areas the color of the screen is dark anechoic is dark each pixel have only one gray and there are different system to storage the information one is the photo paper not more in use in hospital is good in a school VCR little use is for echocardiography but there I use more digital information binary number this is called PAC PAC a lot of hospitals use when you finish your examination go to the computer and go to the radiologist office computer and the films that always are used in some hospitals there are different functions of the receiver that are amplification and compensation that are operator adjustable and the other compression, demodulation and rejection in general are automatic amplification is to put the signal bigger compensation is the time gain compensation different amplification at different dip to compensate the normal attenuation of ultrasound when go through tissue attenuation is normal and of course the machine need to compensate some machine have some automatic compensation but the time gain compensation is still there and you can make some change other machine have not automatic compensation you need always compensate with time gain compensation the attenuation coefficient is the attenuation per centimeter of tissue this is a ultrasound without time gain compensation when the first echo coming back to the transducer produce a echo that was little attenuated but when the seg second echo take the transducer was more attenuated and have less amplitude same for echo number three less amplitude and the same for echo number four is we assume that all the areas have the same echogenicity is we don't make time gain compensation echoes that coming from deeper areas are not as big as 
echoes that come for areas more superficial. This is for that we use time gain compensation. Less compensation for the echoes of superficial areas and more compensation for echoes that come in for deeper structures. First echo, second echo more amplificated, same amplitude, third echo more amplification, same amplitude, and same with the four echoes. All the echoes have the same amplitude because echoes that come in for deeper structure were have more amplification. Without TGC, without compensation, with TGC, with compensation. Amplification and compensation are always operator adjustable, but some machines have automatic, have some compensation in the machine. What are artifacts? Artifacts are things that are not real or are not in the correct position, have no the normal brightness, shape or size and have not correct recorded velocity. This is in the case of Doppler. Remember Doppler is to record velocity. An artifact is something that is not real, that is not accurate. Artifacts are false image within the actual anatomy. An artifact is simple and error in image. Artifacts arise from incorrect display of anatomy or noise during imaging. Some artifacts are because the operator are not working with the good of the better settings. Other can occur even with people working correctly. Cause bad functioning of the equipment, bad system operation, bad transducer placement, sometimes anatomic cause, and the letter E, the most important, because some assumption the machine need to take are not always true. Remember, the letter E is the most important artifact. Sometimes the machine take assumption and this assumption are not real. The ultrasound image instrument cannot figure out that sometimes things in the body don't working as the machine assumes. This is the most important cause of artifact and this is that we are going to study more. Some artifact help because let you know the structure is a stone or is a cyst. Some artifact do not help because don't let you see structures produce shadows or produce incorrect localization of the structure of the body. The most difficult artifact to recognize is the missing structure. You have sometimes artifact that don't let you see something, maybe can produce false negative, are the most dangerous artifacts. 